Moses has been instructed to build the temple and he gathers all of the people together and God tells them again, and he says, and work shall be done for six days, but in the seventh day is a holy day for you, a Sabbath rest to the Lord. Whoever does any work shall be put to death. A very strong word, like whoever does any work on the Sabbath shall be put to death. And he says, it's a holy day for you and it's a holy day for the Lord, for both. You're not allowed to light a fire in your house. And there was a guy um, just before this was out picking up sticks. Somebody grabbed him and says, you're not to be doing any work. And so they brought him to Moses and they asked God, what should we do with this guy? And God says, put him to death. I'm like, whoa, man. But just imagine this, okay, you're in your house and you've got to stay there all day. You can't make a fire. You can't do anything. You just got to stay there. It's a day of it's holy unto the Lord. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about what you're passionate about and I can't do it today. Uh. Right? <laughs> And I think that's on purpose because we need time for the passion and the creativity to stir in our hearts. And sometimes like God calls it a Sabbath where we need to come away. The Sabbath wasn't to be mean. It wasn't a punishment, right? It was holy to you and holy to the Lord. In other words, there's something going on that happens to creative people. And according to the kingdom of God, we're all creative. So here we are. It says Moses has given them instructions. They're going to build the tabernacle. And it says in verse 10, And all who are gifted artisans among you shall come and make all that the Lord has commanded. And he gives directions on what's to be built. Okay, I want you to look at verse 21. And it says, Everyone came whose heart was stirred. And if God stirs your heart, it's because he's got a purpose for you and a role to play. Is God stirring something in your heart? You're on the Sabbath, you're sitting there in your house, you're not building a fire, you're not doing anything, you're just, what's stirring in your heart? This is holy unto you, he said, mm -hmm. and it's holy to him. And allow the Spirit of God to begin to build something, to begin to stir. That's what's happening to these people. In a reference of my Bible, because it uses this word several times, it actually says, lifted him up. So everyone came whose heart had lifted himself up. Mm -hmm. Isn't a good word? whose heart had lifted himself up. What is your heart lifting you up to? Step back from it and look at the whole picture. There's three things that happen here that are absolutely amazing. The third thing is that all of the resources come, like tons of money and stuff, and you know gold and silver and all that kind of stuff, pours into the offerings, because people are seeing the, the purpose. And, and till Moses had to say, that's enough. Same thing happened when David was building the temple. So much offering came in, they finally had to stop it. And the reason that that happens is because we have everything in alignment. First of all, the stirring of our heart is not to do something amazing. The mm -hmm. stirring of our heart is to accomplish the kingdom of God. The stirring in our heart is to build an influence, to build, to build an expanse of the kingdom. And, and this is what happens here. At this time, the kingdom of God was expressed through building of the temple. And then it gets down to verse 26. And again, it says, all the women whose hearts stirred with wisdom. So when you see something bigger than your project, or you see something bigger than the song you're writing, or the next album we're producing, or the next videos that we need to put out, when we see something bigger than that, our heart is stirred with wisdom. Did you ever wonder why it is that some people are just get the creative ideas and other people don't? Well, it's because they've been in the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Right? They've been in that time where it's holy unto the Lord and, and, and it's holy to themselves. And they're seeing that what God has called us to do is not something like, like Karen said, did you see what I did? Right? But it's a kingdom thing. We're building something for the kingdom. And that's what this temple was about. An expression of the kingdom of God, a release of the kingdom of God in the earth. And so everyone whose heart was stirred up, God is stirring our hearts, guys. It's God. That's God's job. He's the one that comes and he stirs something in our heart. And it's, it begins in a dream. It begins in thinking and meditating in our quiet times when it's just holy to the Lord, right? And then we get down to verse 30. It says, As Moses said to the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called my name, Bazalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah. Isn't he, God picks a guy now, right? And he's going to pick you. And so when we see the big vision, then the stirring makes sense and it has a purpose. And so here he is 
calling this guy Bezalel, and he's of the tribe of Judah. What does Judah mean? It actually means the praised one. Judah is, was the tribe of, of praise and worship, wasn't it? And it says in verse 31, and he, God, has filled him, this guy, with the spirit of God in wisdom and understanding, in knowledge and all manner of workmanship. I want the spirit of God to fill me with wisdom, understanding, knowledge, knowing things, and all manner of workmanship, creativity, craftsmanship. And it says in verse 32, to design artistic works, to work in gold and silver and bronze and cutting jewels and setting and carving wood and to work in all manner of artistic workmanship. <laughs> I love it. The guy is anointed. You and me are anointed Amen. to produce something that expresses the kingdom of God. What God wants to produce through VW, Victory Worship, right, through the media, through all of the expressions that we would call creative expressions or whatever, whatever it is we do, print media, video media, whatever it is, we are building something. We are building actually a release of the kingdom of God in the earth. And if we're thinking about how are we going to influence our generation for Christ, how are we going to reach the world around us? It's going to happen through influence. They're actually useful people. They're actually productive people. If we are going to influence this nation of Thailand, guys, we have to have that stirring of God. We have to have the wisdom. We have to have the resource. All these things God's going to give us, the knowledge and the creative ability, the the dexterity, right? The ability to do the things that need to be done. Mm. How many musicians are there? How many worship leaders are there? How many videographers are there? How many editors are there? How many of all of these things do we have in the kingdom? And yet the whole thing as a movement is not, is not getting there. And God says he stirs the heart. When God stirs the heart and it's the building of it together, right? And he wants to give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the next thing was that he was anointed to teach. Mm. Not just you, you gotta teach others. One guy couldn't build a temple. One guy can't make a music video, right? One guy can't produce an album of worship. But if everybody teaches what they know, if there's any time that there's a time when we need to be teaching and training, it's now. We don't have a future unless we're teaching and training. Our future is, is in these things, it's buried in these things, in that God has stirred our hearts to produce something that influences the world. We develop those skills under an anointing that God has given us. Why? But the, the reason that we do it is we're passionate. And so, filled with skill to do the work, filled with the anointing to do the designing, and then filled with an anointing to teach others to do it. Well, what's that for? Yeah. Well, so we can bring God to the world, right? We need to hook it up so that the thing that's on the inside of us becomes the thing that expresses the kingdom of God to the world. Because mm -hmm. you know, when I think about it, we've got so many things that we need. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this is a release, and I want to declare this too, that as we press into building the greater thing that God has us to build, to releasing the kingdom of God in this nation and around the world, that those resources are not an issue. Mm -hmm. They just come, they're coming, because that's what happened. The people could see the vision and they rose up and they just brought everything, yeah. right? Give it, to, give it to the work of the, of the temple. Yeah. yeah. Amen.